So we've been kicking around the idea of having a sustainable Iron Chef or an Iron Chef competition on campus for a while. So we've decided to uh, kind of highlight some of the local ingredients that we're currently using um, and then task it out to uh, have a couple different teams and uh, you know the Iron Chef concept is a mystery basket with a pantry at a certain amount of time to prepare uh, food. Sustainable was the key in all the products. We tried to use everything that was local. Um, and so when the beef tenderloin came out, we were kind of expecting chicken, but the beef came out, we were very happy. Uh, we had so, uh, seen the saffron, and that was the basis for our sauce. So we worked around that. The fresh leeks was an inspiration from one of the other members. They uh, have cooked with those, so that went into a couple of the dishes. So the saffron and the leeks were were the inspiration and we are very happy to have all the local food. Today we made a spiced rub beef tenderloin and it was served with a beer battered onion ring. It's Lake Placid Pale Ale in the batter. And we had a ramp and Dijon cream sauce on top of the beef. For our side dishes we had a spinach salad with eggs, bacon, and a maple balsamic vinaigrette. We made uh, ramp flavored croutons and a Vermont cheddar crisp to go on top of it. And then we made a thin sliced um, golden beet dish with a nettle goat cheese drizzle on top. Uh, we want to give tribute to the Clarkson Co-op and we got a nice little banner, so something to show off a little bit of. Are you, a little for pride. Are you proud of your uh, accomplishment here today? Yeah, this is awesome. I thought our team did great together, and uh, as long as we made some good food and the judges liked it, then I think it's a job well done. Good day. So what we did was we marinated the beef uh, tenderloin with uh, honey mustard, uh, sorry, Dijon mustard, um, a little bit of brown sugar, some balsamic, and we had some portobello mushrooms on top with a, basically a mash, a medley of carrots, potatoes, and some beets. And our other garnish was a baguette with goat cheese and spinach. What we had hoped to do is sort of draw the campus community together by, by drawing attention to the fact that you know we are making our dining services more sustainable. We're trying to develop partnership between faculty, staff, and students and draw everyone together and with a common interest of cooking. So I think this, this venue was perfect for that. It sets uh, the right tone because um, it's one of the specific objectives they have outlined in their curriculum for us to model as students, so them setting the example is very good.